Here we are uh, <laughs> at the at the merch thing, and there's an entire entire closet full of secret closet of hashtag woke the t-shirts. <laughs> Well, Elon Musk has found something interesting while scouring the closets at Twitter. The new owner of the company posted a video to his Twitter which said, found in closet at Twitter headquarters for real. And it was just hundreds of hashtag stay woke t-shirts found at the San Francisco office. For years, the social media platform has been accused of being biased and a site that only favors left-leaning users. There has been debate after debate about censorship of free speech and conservative ideologies. Elon Musk has vowed to change that, declaring it will be a social media site for all and there won't be a censorship of free speech. But the fact that there was actual hashtag stay woke t-shirts at the office was entertainment to say the least. And of course, his video had online users talking. One person wrote, ooh, they shed their skin when they left. Benny Johnson said, $44 billion for a lousy t-shirt? Another wrote, is there any question that Twitter had become a little more than a tool used by propagandists? And the revelations keep pouring in. Finally, the jokes write themselves. Elon Musk's takeover of Twitter has angered a lot of people who question how far he will go, where he will draw the line as he continues to implement changes to the platform. His reinstatement of Donald Trump, Jordan Peterson and Kanye Ye West's Twitter accounts was met with mixed criticism as they were known to tweet controversial things. However, when Mr. Musk was asked whether he would reinstate conspiracy theorist Alex Jones's account, he said no. He replied to a tweet writing, My firstborn child died in my arms. I felt his last heartbeat. I have no mercy for anyone who would use the deaths of children for gain, politics or fame. When online users started tweeting about Elon Musk's changes, calling it the death of Twitter, Pierce Morgan questioned why those users wouldn't just leave the platform if they weren't happy with his decisions. Elon Musk replied, seriously. Piers Morgan brought this up in his latest piece for the New York Post. He wrote, it was an exchange that I'm sure prompted a lot of whiny, woke brats to immediately throw their permanently offended toys out of their sanctimonious strollers and announce they were quitting the platform. But those opposing the new owner have left the platform. A lot of celebrities have thrown their hands up in the air declaring they're out. These include Whoopi Goldberg, Shonda Rhimes, Gigi Hadid, Tony Braxton, Sarah Bareilles and Stephen Fry to name a few. Piers Morgan compared what's happening on Twitter now to when all hell broke loose after Donald Trump was elected as president in 2016. And myriad celebrities from Cher to Chelsea Handler said they would be leaving America immediately. Of course, none of them did. And I confidently predict it will be just the same with all the stars now racing to say they're quitting Twitter because the owner is someone who will no longer tolerate their cancel culture BS. As Piers Morgan writes, the hysteria of Elon Musk's takeover has been self-righteous, nauseating and hypocritical.